welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to make a failure house again today i'm using this bottle this glass bottle for the base and i will make mushroom shape so the idea is that this will be the stem and i want this turn out to be the chimney and then i'm making the mushroom head around here using this cardboard and i will use my aluminium foil to make the shape first i'm gluing on the cardboard ring using hot glue as you can see i make the position of the mushroom head kind of asymmetrical then i'm making the mushroom head shape using aluminium foil and gluing it on using hot glue again now i'm covering the aluminium foil using some white glue to then attach the cold porcelain clay on top of the aluminum foil and shape the mushroom head. I'm using water to smoothen out the cold porcelain clay surface so the mushroom head is smooth and clean and then I'm using a clay tool to make some texture underneath the mushroom head Now I'm rolling out a big piece of clay to cover the whole um, fairy house, which will be the mushroom stamp. I'm using water to stick the clay onto the glass bottle, but you can also use white glue. And then again I'm using water to smoothen out the whole surface so it's nice and smooth. Using a scissor I'm cutting out the shape of the windows and then just peeling off the clay. And it's okay if it's messy because we can clean it up later using some wet wipes. Now I'm making a little clay cone to be the window frames and I'm scoring it a little bit to give it some wood texture attaching it to the clay. You can use white glue always to make the binding strong stronger. For the other window I'm just making little pearls to recreate um, stones to be the window frame. And then I'm using aluminium foil for the base of the stairs for the front door covering it using white glue and then attaching some clay to build the stairs here i'm scoring the shape of the door just to get um, some idea how i want the door to be and then making the door frame and then i'm scoring them using my clay tool to give it the wood effect Oh, I'm scoring some lines to make the boards that make the wood door and then scoring some finer lines to make the wood texture. Now I'm making some little bowls to be stones just to cover the sides of the stairs. 
and I'm shaping little mushroom just for decoration so I'm making them using aluminium foil first and then I'm covering them using cold porcelain clay and giving them some texture Now I'm shaping some leaves to decorate the rest of the fairy house. Now I'm shaping a little flower, I just make a ball, press it down make a dent in the middle and then I'm cutting the flower petals and shaping into more rounded petals and then I'm just attaching the flowers in the middle of the leaves. Now I'm making some vines and I'm making the stem first, attaching it to the fairy house and then I'm making the leaf using my silicone mold. I made it in a previous video, you can watch it. I will put the link down below. So it's way easier to make leaves in the same size and shapes and it's way faster. And then I'm attaching the leaves to the fairy house using some white glue. And if you see the Vaseline bottle, I'm using Vaseline as mold release so the clay doesn't stick to the silicone mold. Okay, this is the fairy house after it post, it's all dried. <clears throat> and now I'm going to start painting it using acrylic paint. As you can see here, I'm trying to make a gradation of um, lighter brown and darker brown and I'm trying to blend it together as best as I can. But um, after that, it looks a little bit odd and I looked up on Google how mushroom heads supposed to look like and apparently the darker part should be in the middle and the lighter part outside and it shouldn't be that contrast. But it's done so I'm just leaving it like that. Then I'm painting the bottom of the mushroom head in a beige color. Now I'm painting the whole mushroom stamp which is the fairy house in white and I needed somewhat like three coats to cover it all. Now I am using some watered down acrylic paint to fill the creases of the mushroom bottom and give it some depth and I'm highlighting them using dry brushing method and I'm painting the whole wood texture things like the stairs the doors the window frames and then later on I'm going to dry brush them to give them the depth and the highlights
so this is the mushroom fairy house it's all done all painted and i didn't varnish it because i don't plan to put it outside and it doesn't have to be waterproof and also i like this matte finish better than the shiny finish but it's up to you i already made a mushroom fairy house before um, but this kind of mushroom not the brown one so yeah this is the outcome i'm not quite happy because i think here are a lot of plain spaces that i wish i can fill but i don't know with what so i'm just gonna leave it like this for now maybe in the future if i have a new idea for this i will add something um i sometimes do that if i have a fairy house and then a few weeks or a few months later i find like oh i want to add something like maybe grass or stones or leaves or something like that and i can still do that that's the nice thing about this called porcelain clay you can just simply add some white glue and then attach the new cold porcelain thing that you made and then just paint it or just paint anything on top of it so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye